100 years ago, the Titanic, the British liner of the White Star Line, left Southampton's port on the south coast of England for New York. We are on April 10th, 1912, a little afternoon. At the controls, Captain Edward J. Smith, nicknamed the Captain of the Millionaires. The Titanic is indeed very luxurious, is equipped with 16 watertight compartments which must be used to protect it from serious damage. For this voyage, the Titanic stops in Cherbourg on the other side of the channel to embark 274 other passengers. It will stop the machines again in Kolb, Ireland to take another 127 passengers. After 1,500 nautical miles on April 14th, the Titanic received several messages informing the presence of icebergs near Newfoundland. At 11.40 p.m. that day, the watchman gave the alert, but it was too late. The Titanic hit an iceberg. The liner sank in two hours, 20 minutes in minus two degrees water. Despite the SOS received by the surrounding ships, 1,517 people died. The number of lifeboats of the Titanic proved to be insufficient. 328 bodies will be recovered by the boats leaving the Canadian port of Halifax. At the same time, the Carpathia, a British liner, takes the 711 survivors and transports them to New York. 76% of the crew perished in the sinking and only 174 of the 710 third-class passengers survived. Today, the probability of hitting an iceberg is 1 in 2000. At the time of the disaster, in April 1912, the risk was twice as high. The wreck of the Titanic was found in 1985, 600 kilometers southeast of Newfoundland, 3,800 meters underwater. <laughs>